Hi guys! So, as you can tell, we're gonna do a makeup transformation, and judging by the white, pristine dress I'm wearing, it's going to be a bride look, a creepy doll with giant, creepy eyes. Inspired by this awesome doll that I found on Tumblr. I found everything good on that website. Let me just tell you, I love how this doll looks like a mummified dead girl. I don't know why, I just love mummies and creepy dolls. But I just thought I had to do this. I love the bulging, ghostly white eyes and just like the veil over it and everything about it. It's so good. So, let's see if we could do this. So first of all, of course, I'm gonna put my hair up as usual, get it out of my way, pin my bangs back, and don't mind the red spot on the top of my head. I actually burned my head with a curling iron because I am a genius and clumsy. So next, for the eyes of this look, I took a ping pong ball and cut it in half. I'm just going to see the size and placement of the eyes. Then getting a light brown eyeliner, I'm just going to trace around those ping pong balls that I'm putting on my eye sockets so that we have a guideline on where they're going to be placed when we do the rest of the makeup. And then using the brown eyeliner, I'm gonna get creative and sketch all over my face, all the frown marks and just all the detail that you wanna put on this doll face. And once you look like you have a plastic surgeon's outline on your face, you are going to get some modeling wax. If you don't have midnight scar wax, that's fine. You could skip this step. I know it's a lot. But before I put that on my face, I'm gonna get some lotion so that your hands will have a smooth surface and that scar wax won't like stick to your hands. We're gonna make the shapes first and then see where they're gonna go. Because next we're gonna get some spirit gum and apply that spirit gum in the places where you wanna put the pieces of the scar wax on your face. Wait for that spirit gum to dry a little bit and get tacky because then we're gonna place the pieces of the scar wax on the tacky spirit gum areas that we did. Don't worry, you could put the spirit gum on your eyebrows, girl, it's not gonna rip them off. I wouldn't do that to you. That sounds like a terrible prank and if I was doing that to you, I would be doing it to myself in front of you right now. Girl, my IQ is higher than that, I hope. Just doing the other pieces on the other side of your face, these are going to be the frowny wrinkles around the eyes of the doll. Once you have those frown marks above your eyebrows, you're gonna get some more spirit gum, slap that on your forehead to do the other frown marks. You're gonna let that dry, not all the way, just to get tacky, don't let it dry all the way. You're just gonna have a shiny forehead, unless you want that. Because once it's tacky enough, you are going to get those rolls of Play-Doh, actually the nose and scar wax, don't put Play-Doh on your face. It just looks like flesh tone Play-Doh. But you're gonna put that on the tacky parts of the spirit gum and just smooth it out with your fingers as much as you can. You kind of wanna look like an upside down Wi-Fi symbol on your forehead. If you squint your eyes, I kinda look like the guy from Star Trek. But once you think your forehead grooves, that's what I'm calling them, is smoothed out enough, you're gonna move on to the sides of your cheeks because there's wrinkle marks on there as well. Put the spirit gum on there again, wait till it gets tacky, and then slap some more Ben Nine Nose and Scar Wax, a thin layer on one side of your cheek, and the other one, you're gonna put like clumps like you did on your forehead of three different sections. Those three different sections are going to be the parts of the skin that pokes out most and then some cut weird line frown marks. And once you have all those pieces smooth out on your face and you look like sloth from the Goonies, you are gonna get the worst product that I hate the most. It is liquid latex. You might wanna use this if you're using the nose and scar wax because it's going to give a layer, a barrier, so that we could put liquid makeup on and not have it seep through and just ruin all of the stuff that we just pasted on our face. Of course, using a disposable makeup sponge is best. You're just gonna thinly do layers on the edges and make sure that they smooth out nicely to your actual skin. Make sure that this liquid latex doesn't go near or in your eyeballs, please. The smell is awful. Is there a way to get rid of the smell? Do you know in the comments below? I feel like someone horrible made this. Someone who not is horrible, but who sucks souls. Maybe the Kardashians, one of them, the elders invented liquid latex, cause I hate it. Someone like that who has no intention of making something pleasant in other people's lives. And enough with my rant, once you are done applying that liquid latex and it is completely dry and you look shiny and creepy like you've been swimming through saliva in a wrinkly face, sorry for the visuals, 
you could put the eyeballs back on and see if you have everything placed right. And then we are going to get my favorite makeup palette, the Bid Night Aqua Palette with the white color and an aqua sponge. Dip that and soak it in water and not soak it, wring it out so that it'll be damp and then put it in the makeup palette and then put that on your face. You're gonna do patting motions. We don't wanna smear it across all of that to ruin all of the weird wax pieces we just plastered on our forehead. Get in between the grooves, go around your whole face, down your neck on your chest. Don't get it on the dress. Actually, you can because it's white. But once you're done with that white layer, you are going to let it dry and sit. It needs to settle on your skin to dry for, I would say, around 15 to 20 minutes because we're not done. This is a process. Once that paint layer is dry, we're gonna get the green color from the Aqua palette with the Aqua makeup sponge. You can get multiple sponges if you want. I just clean them in between. Maybe lazy people wanna buy more than one. I don't blame you. Do very light tapping motions with this aqua sponge in the green because you want it to have a light mossy green swamp color and not a boogery, like very, how do I make it more pleasant? Guacamole, like dark old guacamole color. You want it lighter, like more of a light moss green over the white and on your neck and your chest as well. And once that's dry, we're gonna get another color in black from the Aqua Ben Nye palette and pat that very lightly on spots on your face. I know this is a lot, but it's worth it. It's gonna give like tinges of light green and dark and gray. We're not done yet. If you think you've messed up, in spots and put too much black or green somewhere you can always get more white paint and put it on top of that because everyone makes mistakes everyone has those days Hannah Montana taught me that gosh I miss Hannah Montana is that weird because once that's dry we're gonna use this gray color for my Ben Nye death wheel thing in a paintbrush honestly if you don't have this because it is expensive you don't have to do this step because we are gonna add some more shades later but I just wanted to do a layer of more of an oil based paint so that the eyeshadows I spoiled it that we're gonna put on later will stick to our face better you could put this around the circle hollows of your eyes where the ping pong balls of the eye socket things are going to be because then we are gonna get some matte black eyeshadow with the fluffy eyeshadow brush and just pat that in the sockets of your eye where I did that gray paint like I said you don't have to do the gray paint you can just skip to this step it is going to give you more of a sunken in skull look I absolutely love doing shadowing on things. We're gonna do the shadowing around those grooves that we did with the Bin Nye scar waxing that we did on our cheeks, on our forehead. You can get thinner eyeshadow brushes and do very intricate lines in between the grooves and then you can blend it out with the fluffier eyeshadow brush. We kinda look like the boy from I Like Turtles. Does anybody remember that? Then you're gonna wanna do some shading under your nose. Do a dramatic cupid's bow. That is that little divot above your lip that gets all the pools of sweat. And then do more on the bottom of your nose and do some shading on the sides of your nose. It's like contouring your nose because this girl has a slender nose. Depending on your nose shape, how much shading you will need to do on it. Then I'm gonna do some shading above my upper lip and on the bottom of it, leaving the thickest part of your lip the actual regular color that we painted it. And you could extend your lip line more if you have smaller lips. Just make these lips look like the dolls as best as you can. Do some more shading and contouring on your chin around the mouth area and under those frown wrinkle marks on the sides of our face that we did. Now I'm just doing some last shading on the sides of my head, make sure it blends out to my hairline. Getting some black lipstick and tapping that where the eyeshadow doesn't want to blend in between the grooves of the wax that we put. Honestly, your fingers are your best tools or you can use a brush if you want, but your fingers will blend the product in better. We're gonna use the brush around the eye sockets with the black lipstick because it's gonna give so much more cracking definition of like that cracked, dried out dead skin of the mummified looking bride doll girl that we're making. Put a little bit of the black lipstick on the upper lip, just a little bit, and blend it in with your fingers so that it gives more dramatic shadows. Like your lips are really crusty and gross and dried and sunken in. That sounds disgusting, but I like it. 
And now that we're done with the main attraction of the makeup aspect, we're gonna put a wig cap on or a stocking if you don't have a wig cap. I still need to buy one, what's wrong with me? You can place it down your head with some bobby pins and then you're gonna get a beautiful blonde wig that I got the Halloween store. Same place where I got this white outfit that looks like a brightish thing. I know this wig is a little bit more strawberry blonde and not the platinum like ghostly white blonde that I wanted, but it was the exact same texture as the doll and the only one I could find. But just place it on your head situated. I look like I murder people on the weekends for fun with this wig on for some reason. But then I'm gonna get this lace piece that I cut and tie it around my neck as a necklace of the doll as she had it. I actually made the silver locket thing out of iron-on heart patches that I got at the craft store and just painted it with Sharpies. So tie that around your neck like a choker style 90s girl. And with the leftover lace that we also used with that choker necklace, we're gonna drape it over the wig, over our head, so that we look like a beautiful, creepy, dead bride. Straight out of a Swamp Tim Burton type movie. And then we cannot forget those ping pong ball eyes. I'm getting my black lipstick and just blackening in the edges of the ping pong ball eyes because they are a little bit too big for my face. I just think it's going to make it look a little bit better. We don't want the eyes to look too bulging out of our skull. Just enough. You're just gonna place these over your eyes. Do not press it really hard. I am not even using glue. You could take selfies and pictures, make sure that they're in the right spot just using the natural wincing of my eyes so that it just sits in my eye socket well. That sounds really creepy, but that is our finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I had so much fun doing this. I hope you guys like my interpretations of other lovely artists that I find on the internet. I always put them, their links down below when I can find them. Again, thank you so much for supporting these videos and me. Now it's time to take this off. Leave me a comment and a thumbs up if you guys would like to see The Bride of Frankenstein since I have this white dress thing. That's what it's actually made for. But of course I did something different and weird with it, as I always do. Or if you have any other makeup transformation ideas, I would love to hear them. Oh my gosh, liquid latex, taking that stuff off is horrible. It's not the ball caps that hurt. I know now it's the liquid latex. Me and liquid latex are not friends. They're that close of friends, but we have to work together. If you guys do notice that my face is super beet red at the end of this video, like I'm super embarrassed, I'm not embarrassed. I actually did get a slight allergic reaction because I had the spirit gum on too long and I do have really sensitive skin. So watch out if you have super sensitive skin. I am allergic to most things, but usually I don't have spirit gum on my skin for four hours. Yes, this took four hours to make, but it was so worth it for you guys. All the products I use in this video will be listed down below, including that one. This was so much fun and creepy as always. I hope I didn't scare you too bad. Thank you so much for sticking around and I love you guys so much to death. See you soon, bye.